Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will be demonstrating how to set up an isothermal test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instruments. Isothermal tests can be used to monitor the curing profile of a material by applying an oscillatory deformation and measuring the change of the elastic torque S prime or elastic modulus G prime as a function of time. Open the test parameter software and log in with your username and password. All rubber test plans are organized by compound names and all of the testing information is saved to a database. Each compound can have one test plan per instrument. You will want to first create the new compound by selecting Compound from the Data drop-down menu or selecting the New Compound icon. In the pop-up menu, select New and enter the name of the compound and any additional information desired. Select OK when finished and return to the home screen of the test parameter software. In order to create a new test plan, select New from the File drop-down menu or select the New Document icon. In the pop-up menu, select SIS V50 for creating any RPA test plan. You will then need to select the desired compound and select OK. In the test plan setup window, enter the desired closing pressure. Next, we will need to create the test method. Choose isothermal from the drop-down menu under method. All required fields will highlight in red. Enter the appropriate values into the highlighted fields. This test method can be combined with other steps, such as frequency and amplitude sweeps, which can be used to characterize the sample further. Once all parameters have been entered, click on OK. The test plan will be saved upon exiting. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up an isothermal test using the SQS test parameter software for the RPA Flex and Elite instruments. For more information on our rubber instruments, please visit our website or contact your local technical representative. Stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.